The winds were so fast, some people were forced to cancel their trick-or-treating plans. Jackie, it, it, the, that video, you, you can even see the camera shaking. Right, and exactly. But today, we actually saw those temperatures a little bit better, and also no snow today, and those winds have calmed down. So that's the saving grace <laughs> after what we saw yesterday. So hopefully, all those trick-or-treating plans that were canceled yesterday were able to be held today because it was a little bit nicer than what we saw yesterday. But I did get a nice weather photo sent in earlier today. It was of the sunrise at Beaver Dam Lake from David Meyer, and it was 27 degrees <laughs> when he took this picture. But it does Too look cold. like, look at this, it looks beautiful, but very, very cold to start off this morning, and even wind chills. At that time, we're in the upper teens for some parts of the region, but thankfully those winds have calmed down, but we're still going to be seeing another frigid night ahead. Again, this weather photo sent in by David Meyer, and you can always send in your weather photos right here to at JackieABC57 on Twitter and also on Facebook. But here's a look at what we're tracking as we head out through the rest of the weekend. Another frigid night ahead, but more sunshine as we head into your Sunday are tracking that much needed warm up, especially after yesterday and even today's temperatures. So here's a look at satellite and radar. We are all clear, just a couple of clouds moving in off of the lake. Otherwise, we're still gonna be seeing those mostly clear skies as we head out through the rest of the night. A wider look at satellite and radar, that one system that did bring that light snow through the area yesterday has moved on east. They're still seeing some lake effect showers over in Ohio. We are all in the clear as we head out through the rest of the night and still going to be seeing a chance for a couple of clouds moving through. Here's a look, though, at those temperatures. We are already dropping into the low to mid-30s all across the area, and those wind chills are making it feel like it's in the lower 30s. But taking a look at forecast track, starting out tonight at 10 p.m., we will see those temperatures continue to drop into the upper 20s and even into the mid-20s in some parts of the area as we head out through the rest of the night into the early morning hours for our Sunday. So it will be another chilly start for our Sunday morning, but don't worry, those winds will still be remaining calm, so the wind chills will not be a big factor as we head into Sunday morning, but you still will need to wear those layers as you're heading out tomorrow morning. Here's a look by 11 a.m. back into the upper 30s all across the area, and we will be making a run for 50 degrees as we head into tomorrow. Just overnight tonight, another frigid one back into the mid-20s as we head into tomorrow. Mostly sunny highs, like I mentioned, making a run for 50 degrees. And again, daylight saving time ends overnight tonight. We fall back that one hour, so we do gain one extra hour of sleep. But we are going to be seeing an earlier sunrise, and then that also means earlier sunset. So we're going to be seeing that darkness a little bit earlier as we head all through the rest of this year. But a look at your ABC 57 first warning seven day forecast. So a little bit warmer tomorrow, back into the upper 40s, making a run for even into the upper 50s as we head into Monday. Still remaining into the 50s as we head into Tuesday and Wednesday before we see those temperatures drop as another system makes its way through as we end into Thursday. Highs back into the mid to upper 40s. Marissa, 